so you don't know if they actually do pose no difficulty to you. You sound kind of dumb. That's kind of a dumb thing to do. I would not have done that. That's not something I would have done. Of course, I myself am not that intelligent. My husband is gone. He sacrificed himself, my beloved Jacek. Sacrifice himself? What do you mean? What do you mean, and to whom, and what? All I want is a lighter and maybe some more milk, but there is neither to be found. Oh, 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 no, oh, no. Hey, kitty, where am I supposed to go? You gonna lead the way? No? Okay, that's fine. I wouldn't either if I were you. I would stay put. I would let me go first. W, U, J, wait, I can't spell. Hang on. One wish. Okay, what's your one wish? Or wait, are you telling me that I have a wish? What is my, wait, what are you trying to tell me? Hey, how's it going? My name is Bleat, and tonight we're playing Befriended Curse. Hope you guys enjoy. As a final year psychology student, you made the decision to start seeking your first professional job during the summer break. Coming across a job ad with the title, I'm having trouble communicating with my daughter. She hasn't been herself lately as we live quite far from any major cities. I'd like to invite someone to spend the summer summertime with us and help us understand each other better. You embrace the challenge. After a lengthy journey, you, you finally arrive at your destination. Kill cool. sounds weird, but all right, I'll do it. By the way, hope you guys are doing fantastic tonight, or, or today, whenever you're watching this video. If you're watching it at all, who knows? Even if you're not watching it, even if you just, you're just you know, on my channel, and you have no idea that you're I'm even saying these things because you're not even watching this video, I hope you're still doing well. I hope you're doing well. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Let's make our way inside, shall we? Hello, it's a large cat. I guess I'll just try to let myself in. Now let's go this way. Maybe it's this way. That is not a door. It is very dark. I can hardly see a thing. Oh. Hello? Am I stepping out there? Alright, I'll just leave you to it. I am not gonna go investigating that. Let's, oh. Okay. How about this way? This place looks abandoned. There's no sign of life. <laughs> Who is making all that racket? <laughs> all right. How about we try this again? Oh, okay, I guess it's open now for whatever reason. Hello, is anyone home? Doesn't look like it. Looks like this place is pretty desolate. To me, looks like something bad happened here. Something not great happened in this house. And now this door's open. Interesting. Interesting, that is quite mysterious. Oh, can we grab this? We can grab this. It's a five digit code, okay. So the second one is four, got it. Probably gonna forget it. Hi, thank you for taking on this role and assisting my daughter Mia. I've stepped out briefly, but will, re will return soon. Please feel at ease and take the time to acquaint yourself with Mia. P.S. In one of the drawers in your upstairs bedroom, you'll find a document that requires your signature. It's a formality necessary for securing a partial refund to cover therapy expenses. Kindly sign it if you will. Cheers. Sign the document that was mentioned in the note. Okay, can I eat that? I can eat that. I will first check your fridge for any more snacks. Oh, wait, nope. Ooh, a little bit of milk to wash down my highway protein bar. Let's drink another one. Why not? Why stop there? There's plenty of milk to go around. How about this one? Yep, man, we are all milked up here. All right, well, I got a full belly and I'm ready to sign some paperwork. Here we go. Mia, are you here? Are those eyeballs? Those are eyeballs, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, it's a kitty cat. Okay, not as scary as I thought. Just a sweet little kitty cat. Okay, how about in here? How about we go in here and find ourselves the drawer? This? Yes, this. As the undersigned, I affirm my willingness to aid Mia. Her challenges pose no difficulty to me. I am equipped to manage them and assume responsibility. In return for the service, I am to receive compensation. Perhaps each region of the 
country has its own regulations, I'll sign. Yeah, but you don't know what her challenges are. So you don't know if they actually do pose no difficulty to you. You sound kind of dumb. That's kind of a dumb thing to do. I would not have done that. That's not something I would have done. Of course, I myself am not that intelligent. So there's that. Okay. All right. That's okay. You just stay in there if you want to. What is next on the agenda for tonight? I guess I need to go find Mia. No, I think she locked herself in my wardrobe. <laughs> Alright, how about this room? Hello! Mm -hmm. mm. Ooh! Well, that's mildly concerning. Pentagrams made out of sticks. But, honestly, I've seen worse. Where does this key go? Does it go to the wardrobe? Perchance? Oh, no, it goes to the lockbox. Man, we are doing so great. Already, we're doing great. I'll take it. Mia, you ready to come out so I can meet you? I'm gonna just hang out in there for a while. All right, that's fine. All right, I'll continue exploring the rest of the house. Let's go on up this way and turn that on. It's kind of a big house, honestly. Kind of a large house. Okay, so the last one is, let me write these down because I know that I probably, I'll get to like the third one and I'm gonna be questioning the numbers. We just need three more. And then that will get us into something. <laughs> Somewhere. And then Mia will be cured and we will get paid handsomely. And our job will be done. It's quite cold tonight. I better light the fireplace. Find some firewood to light the fireplace. Okay, well, we know where firewood's probably gonna be. All right, I'm not seeing nothing in here. Hey, kitty. Cute little kitty cat. Oh, here we go. What does this say? Entry number one, March 12th, 1983. Mia has been behaving strangely lately. She locks herself in her room. She doesn't speak, doesn't eat. Okay. With sadness, we announced that on June 7th, 1986, a resident of our village, Jas Jasic K, took his own life. According to colleagues, Mr. Jasic, once a cheerful and happy person, had been behaving strangely for some time. The entire editorial team extends sincere condolences to Jasic's family. The newspaper is from almost three years ago. The history of witch hunts dates back to ancient times. The earliest records of bans on magical practices and penalties for witchcraft can be traced to antiquity. However, it wasn't until the mid 15th century that a flourishing period of witch hunting practices emerged. This was when Pope Nicholas V, in a letter to Hughes, 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 Hugues de Labunx, the Inquisitor for France, granted the Inquisition the authority to deal with all cases of magical practices and witchcraft, even those not overtly associated with heresy. The prevailing document prior to this was much was the much milder canon Episcopi, written in 906. <sighs> I was always terrible at history. What is with all these? These little hanging things, like the Blair Witch Project, but a little bit different. Who knows? Who on earth knows what the dupe darn darn is going on? in this house. All right, we need firewood. I need to stop wasting time. I need to go find firewood. Problem is, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. The problem, oh, here's firewood. I was gonna say I'm not scared, but I just, it's so dark. It's hard to find stuff. It would be hard to find stuff if I had to go into the woods. Find a ladder to light the fireplace. Okay, things are getting a little more spooky. That's okay. That's what we're here for. That's what we do. Uh, more milk. Mmm, bread. Oh. Oh? Oh, a secret passage. <gasps> a secret door. <laughs> to a basement, of all places. All right, is... Can I help you? Nope. Okay, just gonna carry on with my business here. Carry on with my business. It is so dark. Oh my gosh. Oh goodness all right can i use the candles to light the thing the fireplace no okay that's fine oh boy it is dark down here I'll tell you that I'll tell you that right now man i really hope i'm not just wasting time down here i hope there's a lighter or something entry 43 december 4th 1984 my husband is gone he sacrificed himself my beloved jasic sacrifice himself. what do you mean what do you mean and to whom and what oh Oh, okay, okay, okay. Put the doll in there, so there's two more things to get. Okay, Mia is no longer entirely human. Her body looks as if it was burned. She says it hurts every day, but she's alive. Who is writing these notes? All right, well, that's enough basement for me. Let's go back upstairs and try to find a lighter. Where might a lighter be in this beautiful home? All I need is a lighter. That's all I need, that's all I want. 
That is all I'm here for. I'm not even here for me anymore. I just need a lighter. Has this always been here? All right, let's go upstairs because I cannot find a lighter to save my life. Whispers are coming from the woods. We tried with Jacek to find their source, but without success. Okay, well, sounds to me that there's a simple solution to that problem, and that is just to stay away from the woods, to not go anywhere near the woods is what I think would be appropriate, but I'm just a psychologist. Man, I really need a lighter. Okay, what does this say? Someone was outside, they appear outside the window, but every time we go out with Jack, we can't find anyone. Recently, we've learned a lot what happened in this area in the Middle Ages. We believe that it's somehow connected to what's happening to Mia. We're still doing more research. Sounds good. You just keep doing your research, that is fine. I will not stop you. I will not stop you at all. I will not try to stop you. All I want is a lighter and maybe some more milk, but there is neither to be found. Oh, 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 no, oh, no. Where is a lighter? I feel like it should be. That's new. I wasn't there before. Let's go look at that. Let's go see what that's about. Let's go look and see what that's about. Let's go outside. Can't go outside that way. That's okay. We'll go outside this way. Man, I am waiting for there to be... The way this guy opens these doors, the way he opens these doors, someone is in my car. We got someone run to the car and it's going to drive away. Hello? Hey, wait, don't drive away. That's my car. Oh, no. Wait. Stop. Come back. Wow, it's awfully dark all of a sudden in here again. All right, let's get these lights turned on. <laughs> oh, that one was good. I was not expecting that. Oh, I was not expecting that at all. Oh, here we go. Another code. So we have X4X19. But the question remains, where do we plug these numbers in at? Hey, Getty, come on outside, don't you? You do. I'm gonna open this door. And what I was talking about earlier is gonna happen. There's gonna be something right here on the other side of the door. But. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of you. You think I'm scared, but I'm not. You think I'm scared. You got me earlier, a little bit. Got me earlier, just a little bit. But I... What is this shit? A couple moosing out there. Moosing around. All right, that's okay. I'll just stay inside. Yep, coming. Yellow. All right. Close that back and proceed uh, with business as usual. There are mooses everywhere. My goodness. All right, I'm not going down there. There's no point in me going down there. I'm not doing it. There are so many moose outside, and I don't know really what to think about it. Hey, kitty. What was that noise? What was that noise that I heard? Was it up here? Was the noise up here? Was... Yeah, what is that? Is there a code on this hat? There sure is. So we have four out of the five, so we can figure the code out now. All right, let's go upstairs. I know the kitty wants us to go upstairs. Yep. Uh-huh. I'm coming. Yeah, I'm here. Mia. Oh, Mia. This game's getting more intense, guys. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm a little scared, but not that scared. Just a little. What does this say? Entry 62. I don't know what to do anymore. The curse cannot be lifted. My Mia only sometimes remembers who she really is. Five. Cool. All right. Four, four, five, one, nine. All right, let's try to go back outside. Out the door. Can't go out the door. Okay. 
So, let's look in the bag, can't look in the bag. Is there any milk anywhere? Hi, my name is Mia, although my mom calls me Cursed Mia ever since it happened. I'm glad you got rid of the car and decided to stay with me. I'm so happy that you're here. P.S. This is not my cat. Well, Mia, I don't really care that it's not your cat, okay? I don't really care that it's not your cat. That's the least of my concerns, Mia. You understand, Mia? It's the least of my concerns. Okay. Ooh, buddy. All right, let's get these lights back on pronto. Whew, buddy. Mmm, boy. All right. All righty. <laughs> Dresser. The dresser's gonna be upstairs, right? Not too bad. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. That's okay. That's all right. We're doing okay. Is this it? Wait. Armchair. Okay. Here's the armchair. Right here. Here we go. I had to hide this message so the old lady from the forest wouldn't find it. Be careful with her. She's the reason all the bad things happen. My mom says it's because of that witch. I am the way I am. And that because of her, dad left. I think I should look for her. All right. Well, the door's open to the outside. Are my moose buddies still out here? They sure are. My moose buddies are here. Mia, it's late. It's time for bed. My goodness, there are moose, moose boys everywhere. They are still here. All right, can't go that way. How about this way? Can I go this way? Hey, buddy. Can I get beside you? Nope, can't go around you. All right, that's okay. Wait a minute, this is new. Hang on a second, Mia. Are you out this way, honey? Are you... Okay, well I guess I'll just go back to the house. Because I don't want to die. Hide in the house. All right, will do. You don't have to tell me twice. Let's just go back inside and hide in the house. Let's go hide. Let's shut this door. I need to lock the main and garden doors quickly. Lock the doors. Okay, well, I'll do it. I'll shut that and I will lock it. And I uh, will, this one is locked. Yep, there we go. All right. Now what? Oh, hang on a second. Found another dog. Oh! <sighs> We're doing okay. I'm not concerned right now, really. Not too concerned. So you know what? You guys shouldn't be either. We're fine. We're all doing fine. Why did it get so quiet? That is extremely unnerving. Oh, those are just the little hanging things. It's not the witch. It's just the lovely decoration. Hey, kitty, where am I supposed to go? You gonna lead the way? No? Okay, that's fine. I wouldn't either if I were you. I would stay put. I would let me go first. Uh, how about down here? How about we go down here and put the second doll in the thing down here in his little coffin? There's that. All right, we're making progress. We just need one more doll. Ooh. Oh, man. That's, man, that is the last thing that we need now. That's the last thing that we need is that. Can I turn these back on? I can't turn those back on. Oh my gosh. Wait, can I turn these on? Oh my goodness, I can turn the candles on. I'll take it. It's not great, but it'll do. Throughout the Middle Ages, many innocent individuals were burned at the stake. However, legend has it that in 1942, 1492, a young woman began screaming in an unknown language and casting curses while being burned. Suddenly, everyone gathered around started, started hearing terrifying whispers. The woman partially burned emerged from the blazing pyre and everyone fled. According to the legend, in the following weeks, 
The residents were afflicted by a strange epidemic. They began to go insane and their skin turned ashen as if they had been burned. Not much else is known because the Inquisition deemed eyewitnesses of the event who claimed that the witch had cursed them as heretics and sentenced them accordingly. <sighs> Boy, it is extremely dark in this house, but that is okay. We have our candles. We have all of our candles. We are blessed to have as many candles as we do. Let's go upstairs and let's turn those on. Ah, oh, man, I am, I am trying real hard. I'm trying real very hard to not start screaming. Ah, the final doll. Nice. All right, let's make a beeline. Wait, we're missing a candle. We almost missed a candle. That'd been embarrassing. There we go. What is this? Ah, the final key. The final key. All right, I think we know where this goes. Let's go put this key in this door. And let's open this door. And there'll be a code. We have to input somewhere. So I haven't forgotten about my code yet. All right. Well, all right. Okay. Oh, all right. Come on. All right. Here we go. What does this say? As you can see, my mom is trying everything just to help me and lift the curse. She has even spoken with spirits. At least that's what she believes. Although it's my dad who sacrificed the most. I miss him. Entry 33. Every time Mia steps a few feet away from the house, she loses consciousness. We don't take her anywhere because we fear she'll die. Mm-hmm. Mia? Is that you? Me? Oh, here we go. Is it another secret passage? I think it is. Oh my, it's a whole new area. Oh, the code. Okay, 44519. Entry 91, there is hope the curse can be lifted. Okay, feel a jump scare coming. Okay, all right. Let's just turn these candles back on, huh? All right. O, N, E, W, U, J, wait, I can't spell. Hang on, <coughs> one wish. Okay, what's your one wish? Or wait, are you telling me that I have a wish? What is my, wait, what are you trying to tell me? Can I leave? I can leave, Mia. I just saw Mia. I just saw my good friend Mia. Okay, well. All right, can I just go? I'm just gonna go. Oh, hey Mia, where are we going? Going this way? All right, cool, let's go this way. Uh, I cannot see much, but I'm going to follow you blindly. I don't even think I'm following you anymore. Where'd you go? Mia, where are you at? This, what does this say? In 1486. <laughs> Bet I go back downstairs. I bet that is what I am to do. Hey, Mia. My gosh, you look rough. Mom said I should ask you about this in a poem, so I wrote one. I see your fervent wish to flee. Alas, I comprehend, yet grieve. One wish fulfill, and soon you'll see all shall unravel clear believe. Gather crimson blooms, trail the woods to where my father's grave abides. Lay flowers there as kindness should. My curse forbids, my soul abides. Will you fulfill this one wish of mine? Will you take flowers to my dad's grave? Yeah, I'll do that. I mean, honestly, the last part was sufficient, Mia. Find red flowers, take them to the girl's father's grave. Let's go outside and find some flowers. <sighs> okay. Oh, flashlight. Don't mind if I do. Oh, be beautiful. Was that door open the whole time? All right, I see some red flowers. Let's pick the red flowers. Let's go this way, right? Toward the lights? I don't know, maybe not. Follow the forest path to Mia's father's grave. Man, there are a lot of noises in these woods. I am not looking around. I am staying straight. All right, I just looked around. I lied. Find the grave in the forest. Well, I think I found it. <laughs> I think I found the grave. Can I turn these on? I can. Light the candles and tidy the grave. Tidy up the grave, okay. To lift the curse from one soul, two must make a pledge, one giving life, the other the curse, they'll hedge. As dawn breaks and shadows flee, the curse transfers, set both souls free. 
place flowers in the vases on the grave. Do that. I don't feel well. My skin, I feel like it's burning. What happened? What's happening to me? Well, I'll tell you what's happening to you, buddy. I'll tell you exactly what's happening to you. You're sacrificing yourself actively. Lift a curse for one soul, two Oh wait, I already read that. Uh, written vow to aid with desire fulfilled. One minute spent at night in the curse bound house, chilled as dawn breaks and shadows flee. Wait, I read that one too. A soul given, a soul embraced in the dance of fate. Curses intertwine like night and day, intertwine like fate. The witch bears witness as time flows like verse when the magic ritual fulfills and the curse dissipates in the hand's gentle traverse. I agreed to lift the curse only if I received two souls in exchange for one. For the first, I demanded a sacrifice of life. Mia's father committed suicide. I accepted the sacrifice. However, the second person must take on the curse. There's a written contract on the table. <gasps> Which you signed. Which you signed yourself. You sealed it by spending the night in the same house as the cursed person and fulfilling one of their wishes. <gasps> it was all a trap. It was all a ruse. I accept the sacrifice. From now on, your soul is mine. You become cursed. You will never die, but your body will slowly turn into ashes and dust. You will experience slowly throughout eternity what I experienced when I was burned at the stake as a young witch in 1492. Like you probably guessed, I agreed to lift Mia's curse and Mia returned to being a normal girl. Her mom just left with her. Congratulations on your courage and sacrifice, young man. Thanks. Thank you, lady. Yep. Thank you so much. All right. The end. Guys, thank you all so much for joining me for Befriended Curse. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope to see you all in the next video. And until then, take care.